In this video, we are going to see how to add a table in PowerPoint. Now, uh, first of all, uh, first we need to insert a table and then we can add more rows to it, more columns to it, and we can add our data, uh, whatever you want to populate it with. So let's quickly go and look how do we do that. So first of all, you have to, I'll take a fresh slide. And here, if you go to the top of the PowerPoint panel, we have insert option. So we have to insert a table. So we'll go to insert. And then here you can see that there's a table option. So I'll click on the table. Now you see that uh, there are a lot of blocks here. So what are these blocks representing? So they represent how many rows and how many columns okay, do you want in your table. You can of course change this later on, but uh, uh, for the uh, just in order to put, the, put your table uh, into the slide, I'm just going to take a table which has say, uh, three rows and it has four columns all right so these blocks right here will help you decide how many rows and columns you want so I'm uh, I want three rows so I have selected three rows and I want four columns so I'm selecting this particular square so I'm going to click here and I got my table so this is the table so I have three rows in my table and I have four columns in my table. So let's uh, populate our table. Say uh, this is uh, a, a column number one, which is name. Second column is say role number. Uh, suppose we are creating a database for say students and role for some subject. Okay. So role number and then we can say subject. Okay. Uh, that the student has opted and what are his marks in that subject. So these are our columns, all right? If you want to add another column, okay, what you need to do is you need to right click on the table and you get an option here, insert. So now it says insert columns to the left or insert columns to the right. So we want a column to the right of the table. So I'm going to click on insert columns to the right. So see, a new column is generated and I can add a new column, say I can add a grade in that subject okay so this is how you insert a new column into the existing table now I'm going to populate my table say the name is Paul and his role number is 01 subject is maths marks are say 86 grade is B plus okay and now uh, again we can uh, add one more entry okay uh, to this table now uh, suppose uh, you can of course add that uh, i want to show you how you can add another column uh, another row uh, to this existing table so there are suppose two rows in the table uh, where we can populate here paul is one and another one is this one so let's just quickly do it so it's easy to understand uh, and suppose marks are 98 and the grade is a place Okay, now uh, we want to insert another row, okay, so that we can add another data, another student entry into this table. So I'm going to right click the table. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to do insert rows above or insert rows below. So I want one row below this. Okay, so I'm going to do insert rows below. So see, I've got a fresh row here where I can add another entry, say Andrea. And roll number is 03 and so on the other data we can populate so this is how okay we insert the table okay and uh, we add columns to the table uh, similarly if you want to say uh, delete a particular column from the table so you're going to suppose i want to delete the marks column okay i don't want to keep this column so i'm going to go to this column i'm going to right click it and then i'm going to say delete and in delete i'll say delete columns so see the columns uh, the marks column is gone now, right? So similarly, if I want to uh, delete, uh, say, a particular row, I want to delete uh, the second row uh, here, okay, uh, the entry with Michael. So I'm going to go to that entry, I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to do delete, delete rows, and see, the entry with Michael is gone. So this is how you insert rows, you delete rows, insert columns, delete columns to the left, to the right of the table. And this is pretty much it okay of course uh, there are other options like you can change uh, the font okay of your uh, of your text okay from here uh, to say uh, 2024 okay so now of course uh, you see that this has become 
bigger in size similarly okay if you want to change the color of your table you don't like this color okay you can go and you can do a shape fill and you can do say pink or magenta or whatever color you want you can select from here okay and uh, your table okay will get uh, colored accordingly so this is how okay you can create colorful tables okay and populate all your data that's all for this video thanks